hope you've been enjoying uh, my uh, drawing videos. Um, most of them have been for uh, intended for younger children. Uh, the animal drawings. Um, some of the artist friends that I have have been asking me how I do my pen and ink sketches and uh, they're a little unorthodox um, the way that I do them. I suppose that's why they're asking me uh, how I do them. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day this morning and uh, it was minus nine. Now it's uh, getting bright and sunny and, and uh, hopefully I won't fall through the ice here. Okay, I'm walking along the river here and uh, I'm thinking that this scene up ahead would be a good, would make a good drawing. I often come here to fish in the summer and there's a big hole in the river here where uh, there's a very big bull trout that I haven't caught yet, but um, one of my students, uh, high school students, has posted a lot of pictures of and it's quite quite big so uh anyway i like this spot so i'm gonna try and uh, figure out a a good composition uh, with this uh, little sandstone cliff hill hill here okay so i've got a uh i've got a watercolor pad i'm using um hot press paper uh i think it's uh I think it's arches and then I've watercolor paper and then I've got uh, I use this uh, V5 pilot pen it's uh, blue ink now how I started drawing this way uh, was that um, my family and I we were on uh, we were on vacation and uh, we were uh, we went to Italy we went to a place called uh, Rio Maggiore, which is um, on the Mediterranean there. There's a bunch of uh, small towns. And uh, we were staying at a B&B. &B and um, I'd been teaching a lot, but I hadn't been drawing for, uh, for a few years very seriously. And uh, um, I was kind of bored, actually, because... Whenever we would go out, my wife is a writer. She likes to watch people and sit there and drink uh, cappuccino or whatever. And uh, I was kind of bored, to be honest. So I said to uh, the uh, b and owner, I said, have you got a sketch pad and uh, some pens and paper or whatever? And he said, yeah, I do. So uh, I was walking up a path and I saw a lemon tree never seen a lemon actually uh, growing you know I've seen them in supermarkets but uh, to actually see a lemon it was really cool so I thought oh you know what I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna do a drawing of this so I did and uh, when I was drawing I uh, I was I was sitting there drawing and uh, I had uh, some uh, carbonated water some Perrier water or whatever over there they they call it gas water if it's got gas in it so uh, now of course I've got a soda stream so I use it all the time carbonate my own water but um, anyway I was drinking the water and I spilled it all over my drawing and uh, I thought oh man I just uh, wrecked my drawing and then I put it out in the sun. It's pretty hot over there. It's, I don't know, uh, 30 some degrees Celsius that day. And it dried out in the sun. And then I looked at it again and I went, wow, I really like, uh, I really like this effect with the, uh, with the, um, that I've gotten on my drawing. And so I started drawing that way where I would, uh, do the, uh, outline that I'm doing of the ice and the river and the rocks right now um, but uh, you know I'm a watercolorist too and um, you want to establish a lot of tones very quickly the way to do that is with uh, with water or if you're doing an ink wash 
So um, I'm looking into the river right now while I'm drawing and I'm just getting a map. I'm just getting a map done and then I'm going to put some ink down and I'm just going to lightly put some ink down because this is all going to be a tone. I started off wanting to draw the uh, cliff here but I'm going to draw the fishing hole with uh, ice around it. There's ice and rocks and uh, the um, ice will lend itself uh, nicely to uh, just the white of the paper. I'll just leave the ice white. So, um, yeah, today we're doing a pen and ink river. So that's kind of the story of how I began drawing this way. Now I'm going to show you what I do next um, before I... Uh, I'm going to spend some time and then come back to you, but this is the important part, I guess, that you want to see when I'm um, shading in the areas, like how I do that with the water. Okay, so I've got my... Uh, I didn't bring Perrier water or uh, bottled carbonated water because I'm carbonating my own now with the soda stream. But what I do when I want to do my uh, mid-tones, so I just dip my finger in the water there. I'm not going to drink that water. I brought a thermos full of tea. We should all be drinking hot liquids in this uh, COVID virus, I hear. So I'm not drinking cold water today. Okay, so this uh, pen is, it's bleeding all over the place on the, uh, on the paper and that's the effect that I want. That was the, uh, as Bob Ross would say, that was the happy accident that happened to me in uh, Italy and then I, then we went to Spain and I, I drew everything this way. I drew flamenco dancers and whatever, horses. And, uh, of, of course, because it's water that I'm using, just like watercolors, it lends itself very well to, to uh, representing water with uh, your, uh, your drawing, painting kind of mixture here. This kind of reminds me of uh, when I was a kid. We had those uh, invisible drawings you'd buy. You know, they were like a Disney thing or whatever. You would uh, add the lemon juice and then you would see your drawing. This is kind of similar, only uh, you're, doing the, you're doing the drawing. You're making your own. And uh, with this uh, virus, the cool thing is all of us are going to make our own stuff again. And... Uh, you know, enjoying what, what's in your, your neighborhood. For example, my neighbor's making soups. These are great soups and uh, whatnot. And like homemade things are always better than uh, things that you buy. And plus you have the satisfaction of making things yourself, okay? So I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes. And I'm going to have a cup of tea. And then I'm going to text my wife, let her know that I'm still alive, that I haven't gone through the ice. And uh, we will resume. Okay, I've done a little bit more here. I'm uh, laying in some more tones. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. One of my favorite artists, Andrew Wyeth, he used to do this kind of thing all the time and with his watercolors. And in fact, I might come back here with my watercolors the next couple days because there's some really good colors right now. And, um, you know, he liked to go a little bit wild with the, 
with the um, with the water and uh, and uh, when I show you later what I'm drawing, you're going to see that I've taken a lot of artistic license. It doesn't have to be uh, like it is. It can be however you want it to be. So uh, I've actually taken quite a bit of uh, liberties here and put rocks where there's not rocks, that kind of thing. Main thing is um, you just kind of want to get the overall spirit of the, the place and um, what's going on. And um, for me, there's nothing better than to uh, be by, by the river. Um, whether I'm fishing or drawing, what a great day to spend a day. I've already been here about an hour and a half. And um, whether you catch a fish or whether your drawing works out isn't really the point. Why I like to be in the river or around the river, especially in troubled times like we're living in right now, is that... Uh, the river is always reassuring. You can come down here, and if you listen, that sounds like, to me, a concert hall. It sounds like applause. It sounds like encouragement. It sounds like um, people clapping. And, you know, everybody gets discouraged. It's, uh, especially if you're an artist, you know, people might not want to want to uh, hear your singing or your see your drawing or whatever art thing you're doing. There might not be much interest in it. You love doing it, but um, it is quite easy to get discouraged, and it's quite easy to get discouraged fishing too. But um, what it's all about, to me, is. Um, are you enjoying yourself? It's a sunny day, beautiful day. The air is fresh. There's animals around. Uh, I saw, I'm pretty sure cougar tracks down there. They weren't fresh, but as you can see, my drawing that I've been working on here, uh, it's not exactly what's happening up there. I'm not even sure that I'm I'm uh, that pleased with what I've done, but it has been uh, a uh, a really nice day to draw, and uh, and yeah, I'm just going to keep going on it just a little bit, a little bit more here. And then And then I'm going to call it a day.